Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am sharing my first zine that I created for a challenge. This zine is created for Becoming Fab here on YouTube. She is having a zine challenge and I want to walk you guys through what I created and why I created my zine the way that I did and some of the requirements that she has for her zine challenge. Alright, so... A zine to me is something that I have seen a lot of different YouTube pals here on YouTube make and I wanted to try one out and I believe what they are is a little booklet, a little magazine booklet that you make and you put together of different ideas that you choose to incorporate into your zine. Now Becoming Fab did have some different things that she wanted you to include. She did say that you can make any size that you wanted for your zine. One of the requirements was on one of your zine pages, you had to include your top 10 favorite craft items, as well as on another page, you had to include your mailing address, as well as your social media. So I've done that, and then I took a few things that I really love about just life in general, and things that I gravitate towards most. So I went ahead, and that's how my zine was created. So now I'm going to share with you some of the things that I actually use to create my zine. So a little while ago, early in the year, I won the Little Bits box and I was excited to win that and I decided to go ahead and use that in my zine. So what I did is I enlarged the images from that box and this is what I pretty much enlarged and I've made a copy print here. So I printed this out and I incorporated that into my zine as well as using the Lost and Found Cricut Cuddlebug dies. So this is the Lost and Find if you guys are looking for this set right here and that's what it looks like. As you can see I've used a great deal of these on my, um, my die set here. And so one of the things that I also used from that collection was this pair of scissors right here. This is one of the dies right here. I love this one. It's a really really good size. As well as this little bow right here. So those are two of the pieces that I use from that Lost and Found Cuddlebug Cricut set. In addition to that, I went ahead and used one of my new stamp sets. And I just used the sentiment for this one here. This is the uh, Mountain Art Impression stamp set. This is called Crafty Girl Set and I love this stamp set here. I use the sentiment Craft Today, Do Housework Tomorrow. As well as using the stamp abilities, I just use two of the stamp sentiments from here. Be you, do you, for you. As well as anything is possible with confidence and cute shoes. So that's where I got my impressions or my sentiments from. As well as um, some of my cuttables. In addition to that, I went ahead and I used some punches. As well as just wrote in with my own handwriting. And I did a little stamping and a little bit of coloring as well. So now let me show you how my first one came out. Because my first one, this right here, I wanted to share this because you, you're able to create your original. And when I first printed it out, it did not come out really, really well, guys. Look at this. Mm -mm. That is not the color that I chose. It did not come out really well at all. This green color and yellow color is not the colors that I chose for my my zine so if that happens to you make sure that you test out your printer like I did and go ahead and just get a color copy made if you're running low on ink like myself this go round and you can take it to your Kinko's you can also take it to um, your Staples if you have one in your area or any place that pretty much do um, color copies so you create an original and this is my original zine right here this is what my original looks like. So, this is the first page of my zine right here, and it says the word hello. And I use that girl image from the little bits box, and I use color pencils to color her in. I use my punch die, which is hello, punch that out in gold paper. And then I love shoes, guys, and of course, I had to incorporate that in there. This is not just related to crafting, which it is, but I had to incorporate my first love was shoes before I got into crafting. And this is um, this zine that I created is all about MLK. And so what I did here is I incorporate that for my front piece there. 
and I'm loving her because she is fierce and ready to hit the road, guys. And so that's my first page there. And so I'm just going to go in order, even though it's out of order here. Right here is the back of the page. I just went ahead and stamped my Inspired by Life, created by hand. So this is what's going to be on the back. And it just, um, I've written that in. And then I punched out, using my Martha Stewart punch, the butterflies with some of the coordinating papers that I incorporated into my zine. And then I handwritten in um, my information for my YouTube channel. Right here, I used the background paper. And then I went around with washi tape to give it a little bit of bling. And then I just put my information where you can mail me different um, happy mail or you guys can choose to, you know, participate in the challenge that I have going on right now on my channel. And then I incorporated my social media right here. So if you would like to follow me on Instagram, it's Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. And my Facebook is Memory Lane Keepsakes. And you guys know my YouTube channel is the same thing, Memory Lane Keepsakes. So this is what I have here. And on this page right here, you guys know I have a sweet tooth. That's why I'm doing a Sweet Treats collab for 2018. So I incorporated a macaroon on here, a little cupcake, and it says pretty in pink. Because that's one of my favorite colors. It's actually fuchsia, but pink that's in the same family of pink. And right here, the 10 things, the 10 favorite craft items. One being my Cricut Explore Air. Two, my Caterpillar Pro. I love cutting with that. Three, my Martha Stewart embossing gun. Four, my Fuse tool. Five, my scoreboard. Six, my Distressed Outside inks. Seven, my Nouveau drops for embellishment. And eight, my stamp collection, as well as my clear stamps and rubber stamps. Number nine, my dies. Ten, I will have to save my craft punches. And then right here, I wouldn't incorporate something that was craft craft related. So that's where those sentiments came in. I have this beautiful background right here and it says, be you, do you, for you. And right here, I have the gold scissors that I cut out with using this die that I shared right here. And I just basically cut it again to give it like it's opening up and it's cutting the craft today, do housework tomorrow, just to add a little something special. Then we have another little girl from the Little Bits box here. And I basically cut her up using the um, Prism Color pencils. And then I went ahead and used that bow right here on her hair. And then in the bags that she had, the shopping bags, I wrote in Tuesday morning in Hobby Lobby. And then right here, another beautiful background paper that I pieced together. And I basically um, stamped the word anything is possible with confidence and cute shoes for a cute little sentiment because I thought it went really well. So I pretty much laid out all my different pieces here for each page using a variety of different colors and scraps. And I believe this really says who MLK really is. And so I put this into my zine and this was what I came up with. And so I showed you the copy that didn't print out really well. You see that. So I did take it to my local copier and I went and got it done and this is the best copy right here. So this is what it looks like. This is the front of it right here. And when you open it up, that's the information, it's page two. And then you have this page right here. And then that's page three and that's page four. And we have five and then six and then the back. So this is my zine creation. This is my first one. I had a lot of fun doing this. I would definitely be doing more. And I just wanted to put that out there. If you guys have not heard of Becoming Fab, make sure you definitely check out her YouTube channel and join in on the fun on creating your own zine. She even has a tutorial on her channel on that challenge video. So that way you can know how to pretty much create your own. And so just make sure you definitely let her know that I sent you over. As well as if anybody would like to swap with MLK, which is here, Memory Lane Keepsakes, with me, let me know down below and I will love to swap one of my zines with you. I will make another copy and send one out to you. My information, it will be down below in the description box as well as I will link the challenge video for Becoming Fab. This is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and I thank you guys so much for taking our time to join me. Have a wonderful crafty day and continue to be blessed. Bye-bye.